Hey everyone, sons and daughters of God, chapter 17, January 17th. Belief in him means everlasting life. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life, John 3, 36. When the soul surrenders itself to Christ, a new power takes possession of the new heart. A change is wrought which man can never accomplish for himself. Excuse me. It is a supernatural work, bringing a supernatural element into human nature. The soul that is yielded to Christ becomes his own fortress, which he holds in a revolted world. And he intends that no authority shall be known in it but his own. A soul thus kept in possession by the heavenly agencies is impregnable to the assaults of Satan. Wow. A soul thus kept in possession by the heavenly angels, agencies is impregnable to the assaults of Satan. Christ is ready to impart all heavenly influences. He knows every temptation that comes to man and the capabilities of every human agent. He weighs his strength. He sees the present and the future and presents before the mind the obligations that should be met and urges that common earthly things shall not be permitted to be so absorbing that eternal things shall be lost out of reckoning. The gifts of his grace through Christ are free to all. There is no election but one's own by which any may perish. God has set forth in his word the conditions upon which every soul will be elected to eternal life, obedience to his commandments through faith in Christ. God has elected a character in harmony with his law, and anyone who shall reach the standard of his requirement will have an entrance into the kingdom of glory. Christ himself said, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. What an exalted position to be identified with one in whom is all perfection centered, who is indeed the majesty of heaven, but who loved us, although fallen, so much that language cannot express it. He, for our sakes, laid aside his royal robe, stepped down from the throne of heaven, and condescended to clothe his divinity with humility, and became like one of us except in sin, that his life and character should be a pattern for all to copy, that they might have the precious gift of eternal life. Have a great day today. You are a son and daughter of God.